Eric Peterson with Arborisk here. Today's weekly business tip has to deal with safety and how you can improve your safety by looking at leading indicators. Now, one of my favorite things about the tree care industry is getting into conversations with people, feeling their passion and, and understanding and, and starting to learn more from them. And one of the trends that I've seen recently is talking about how to use leading indicators to improve your safety results. So um, we're going to talk a little bit about leading indicators, but I know the concept isn't new. It just seems to be a trend that's picking up speed within the tree care industry. Um, just like, you know, a doctor analyzes your blood sample for certain irregularities that may be coming uh, or causing a future disease or, or issue with your health or like a quality control analyst or chemist, make sure the chemical compounds of their product is correct before it leaves the facility. Uh, looking at leading indicators is a way to identify potential issues before they even become a, a problem, before there anything happens. So leading meaning before. Um, it, it, there's a recent article by Bill Owens in the TCI magazine called Leading and Lagging Indicators, and he explains both of them. But the direct quote that I really liked within that article was when he says, understanding leading indicators and incorporating them into a safety program balances a program and improves overall safety results by focusing on the behavior that leads to successful outcomes. Now, that simply to me means behavior first, results second. Uh, you know, build your safety culture around the proper behavior to get the better result. Um, that's definitely what I see here with leading indicators and I encourage everyone at their next safety meeting to, to write a list of what leading indicators they could track within their company. Now, there's many examples, so many different examples, but think about the proactive behavioral activities that you guys engage in every day that then can be tracked and monitored like safety meetings, just simply performing a safety meeting, doing your job site audits, um, job site safety audits, I mean, doing a job site analysis, JSA or job site hazard analysis, JHA, whatever you call them within your company, administering driving tests, looking at driving records, doing your equipment vehicle inspections, all, all those different things um, have a leading indicator aspect to it. And obviously you can track then based on that and set goals within your team to make sure that you are doing the, the amount of leading indicator behavioral activity that you should be so that you can start preventing injuries from actually happening. Now, um, if you need help creating the leading indicator, if the concept still doesn't stick in with you, there's some resources within this article, um, directs you to OSHA on their webpage directly, but also look at to, uh, the Thrive's safety package. Um, we've built our safety package around helping tree care companies build a strong safety culture through not only having the written procedures in place and programs in place, but also then how to track and monitor leading and lagging indicators to really boost your overall safety results. So thanks for watching and please reach out to a member of the Arborisk team if you need help, any help with your safety programs. Stay safe.